Hello everyone and welcome to Body Bags. I'm your reviewer for today. I am Cinema 77, horror and cult film lover. And uh, today we're going to be talking about a very interesting movie called How to Be a Serial Killer. Now this movie came out in 2009. It's written and directed by uh, Luke Ritchie, who um, was, this is his only writing and directing debut and uh, the only film that he's written and directed, but he is a producer on um several films rights of spring being one of them and uh this movie stars damian clark and matthew gray gubbler now the premise of this movie is is it's very much a black comedy it's definitely it definitely goes down some dark roads though i'm not gonna lie to you about that um don't let the cover fool you i know right here you know it looks like it's gonna be a it looks like it's gonna be funny and everything else and you got damian clark here playing mike wilson in the movie and you could definitely tell it's going for like a, you know, definitely tell they're going for like an American psycho vibe here. He's all dressed up in a suit. He's got a chainsaw and the other side, he's got an ax and things like that. But, um, really this movie, um, it really is pretty interesting. Um, I found this, you know, believe it or not, I found this at a local record store for only 25 cents for this DVD. I figured if it was, if it wasn't any good, then, you know, the worst thing it did was I blew a quarter on it. But luckily, this movie turned out to be really, really good. Um, it's very well made. Um, the storyline goes, okay, you have this character, Mike Wilson, played by Damien Clark here. And he's, you know, the movie starts off, he's, it's like he's giving a seminar. You know, he's like giving a lecture and stuff. And he's talking about, you know, um, how to become a serial killer. And if you were going to be a serial killer, that there are certain rules that you need to follow, certain regulations, certain things that you do or don't do so that you don't become trapped. Um, he, you know, he uh, states like, okay, for like one rule is you never, no rape, never rape a woman. That's, you know, that's going too far and stuff. Um, no children. It's like, you know, yeah, children can be, you know, he's, he's saying, you know, like, you know, children could be a little shit from time to time, but you know, no, we don't kill children. That's not something we do. And, um, so the movie starts out, you know, he's giving his letter, he's giving his pointers and stuff, but then he goes to a video store where he meets, um, Bart and, uh, this is Bart right there. I don't know if you can see it Yeah, you know, right there. This is Bart. Now Bart runs the video store and he's being basically talked down to by this customer. Customers all saying terrible things about him, things like that. So the customer is just going around looking Well, Mike is in the store and he overhears this. And so he goes and he talks, you know, he starts talking to Bart and he's all like, you know, Hey, what do you want? If you had a choice, you know, if you had a chance, what would you do to this guy? You know? And, and, uh, Bart's like, you know, I would like, you know, I would like go and, bash his head in with a sledgehammer or something and and mike is all like you know yeah hey i kind of like your ideas you know it's a little messy but it's creative and so and so he's all like you know here's what i want to do is i want to um you know i want to teach you the tricks of the trade and you know as i basically i'm a serial killer and i can teach you how to do this and you know you can be a serial killer and you never get caught and stuff like that so you know he goes you know mike proves his point by going out and, and following this guy and shooting him down and so, you know, Bart starts, you know, becoming his student and he's, you know, learning from him and everything else. But at the same time that um, Mike is teaching Bart, you know, the things that he knows and, and the proper way to become a serial killer and, and everything else. At the same time, he's trying to deal with his relationship with his girlfriend, Abigail. And, uh, you know, he, you know, and it's clear that he's very much in love with Abigail. And he's, you know, that's one of his rules is all like, you know, if you have somebody that, you know, if you have people close to you, do things for them and, and, you know, show them that you care, you know, and everything else. Then they're, you know, because if, if you have, you know, friends or relatives or loved ones and you keep your distance from them at all times, then, um, you know, they're going to become suspicious. They're going to try to start digging, trying to get dirt on you, figure out what's going on with you and stuff like that. But if, you know, once in a while, you know, you do, um, you know, you do good things for them and everything else, then, you know, they're not going to be too concerned. And so, you know, he starts to, uh, you know, he takes Bart on as his apprentice and he's showing him all these things and he's trying to juggle his relationship with Abigail and all this other kind of stuff. And then um, things just kind of, you know, they kind of, I don't want to give too much away, but they do kind of spiral out of control, out of Mike's control. But, um, 
you know, ultimately, you know, it, it comes down to, you know, is he going to get caught and he's got to cover up Mike has got to cover up his tracks and he's, you know, Bart needs to help him and stuff like that. But at the same time though, too, Bart is, you know, um, learning about how to be a serial killer and not get caught and everything else. So now the thing about this movie is, is this movie, I had a lot of fun with it. Like I said, it only cost me a quarter when I bought this at a record store and it was definitely well worth a quarter. And the reason why honestly is Luke Ritchie did some very sharp writing and directing. Um, the dialogue is snappy. There's a lot of fun here to be had, but really Damien Clark here really, really holds your attention. You know, I mean, the movie's called How to Be a Serial Killer, and if you have an actor who doesn't have any kind of charm or charisma to them, if they have no, you know, if they don't have anything that makes you want to invest in that character or anything like that, a movie like this can totally fall flat on his face. And with Damien Clark, he doesn't do that. And when he plays Mike Wilson in this movie, he plays him with a lot of charm, you know, Mike is the kind of guy who has like the gift of gab. He's able to be, you know, manipulative, but not be, you know, uh, not be abusive about it or anything like that. He has this natural charm to him that gets you to like him, despite the fact that he does these terrible things and he's, you know, killing people and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, he just, he really holds his own as an actor. And right now he's got a huge career doing um, voiceovers for cartoons and he's appeared on, television he's appeared on supernatural other things like that but um you know this is kind of like the one like really like starring role that he's had and he's won awards for his uh portrayal of michael so which he deserves and i think if you watch this movie like i said you know i mean he really that's the thing you know i mean for this movie to work you really need an actor who can hold your attention and damian clark does that and um you know just he really does he draws you in and everything else but um like I said, though, you know, even though this movie is, you know, it's listed, it says right here, it's a black comedy and stuff like that. This movie really does go down some dark alleys, though, and it really does go to some, you know, really goes to some deep, dark places where it can't come back from. And, you know, there's actually like a, a scene where Mike is, you know, he's showing Bart, like, you know, how to, you know, kill people and stuff like that. And, and uh, you know, he goes out and you know, he tells Bart, stay in the car, you know, and there's just an innocent woman walking down the street. And so Mike gets out and he goes and he chases down this woman and he's got like, you know, he's got like the camera strapped to his head. So he's videotaping everything. So he see what's happening. And, uh, he goes and he, and he catches this woman and this innocent woman, you know, just walking down the street, my own business, he catches her and strangles her to death and everything else. And like I said, if you didn't have an actor, this movie would be unwatchable. If you didn't have an actor who could really like pull you in and that's, you know, the best thing about this movie is Damien Clark. He does give a good enough of a performance that he really does draw you into it. So, so I would highly recommend picking this up if you can find it. It's really a good film and um, I enjoyed it. I thought, you know, it has some good dark humor in it, goes to some deep, dark places, but overall it's, it's a really good entertaining watch. So. So anyway, so that's going to do it. We talked about uh, how to be a serial killer. And, uh, you know, yeah, I highly recommend this movie. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's a very entertaining watch. So, so um, yeah, if um, anyone took the time to watch the video, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. And um, I hope you like uh, the rest of the videos on the Body Bags channel. And uh, if you like what I've done, you know, I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And, uh this is Cinema 77, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the week on Body Bags, and I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.